with a subject like this, I have visions of a great white shark rocking up to the beach on a hot summer's day, dining out on all the sunbathers. But the reality is, they snatch land animals who intrude on their turf. Other species, however, come ashore to grab themselves a gourmet meal. From the black and white killer with a diverse diet to a seal-eating great white, here are 15 badass ocean creatures that eat land animals. Number 15. Orcas eating land animals. Killer whales are certainly a special case when it comes to ocean predators, and they are very much the upper class. Also known as orcas, the distinctive black and white killer whale is the largest predator of warm-blooded animals still alive today. Their diets are extremely unique and diverse, and not one killer whale's taste buds are the same. In fact, in many areas of the world, these whales prey on different types of fish or marine animals, but never a mixture of both. It has been reported that worldwide, they are known to prey on well over 140 species of animals, including boy fish, sharks, rays, and around 50 different species of marine mammals. They have also been known to prey on and even eat animals like leatherback sea turtles, dugongs, moose, and even penguins. That, on top of the many other seabirds they regularly devour, makes the killer whale the most diverse and most most unpredictable in dietary habits across the globe. Habits that will ensure it continues to swim our oceans for many, many more years to come. Now that's good news, isn't it? Before we go on, we have a cool challenge for y'all. It'll take about five seconds to complete. Uh, let's make a deal. Just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 10 years of amazing luck and fortune. Try it. It actually works. Number 14. Great White Shark Eats Seal To be fair, it's no secret that the infamous Great White Shark has been known to prey on aquatic carnivores like seals and sea lions. In fact, it has been this way for centuries. The real story, however, is in the process they follow prior to attacking and killing their unsuspecting prey. Great Whites consume approximately 11 tons of food each year. This is a massive amount in comparison to the average human being who consumes roughly half a ton during the same time. Luckily for humans, they are far too muscular and lean to be part of the shark's diet, and it's very rare that they will attempt consumption. They instead go after seals, as they are typically 50% fat, which is the ideal meal for the predator. The Great White also won't shy away from the likes of other fish as a quick snack, and might even try snatching a sea turtle occasionally. Since they are predators, the Great White's sense of hearing and smell is exceptional. However, its vision is the most utilized when searching for prey. They scope out the surface for any signs of seals and slowly approach them from underwater. One scientist conducted a study in which he presented a shark with the opportunity of attacking a seal-shaped board made from plywood or just a regular square board. The scientist found that the shark made more cracks at the seal-shaped board than the ordinary one. Now, that's not great news for the seal population, is it? Number 13. Monster Catfish Hunt Pigeon in southwestern France, there are a group of fish called catfish that have found a very clever way of killing birds. The River Tarn in the city of Albi contains a small gravel island in which many birds, including pigeons, gather to bathe themselves. The European catfish patrol the island. Ranging from 1 to 1.5 meters in length, these fish are easily the largest freshwater fish on the continent. When they attack the birds, they tend to lunge out of the water and proceed to swallow their prey. However, their most unique tactic has been to temporarily strand themselves on land for a moment. This action attracts the attention of the prey, and they can proceed to attack again, but with a little less effort as the curious birds are 
are unaware of the impeding danger. There are a handful of other aquatic creatures that have used similar tactics, such as the bottlenose dolphins in South Carolina that drive small fish onto beaches, while the likes of killer whales in Argentina have been known to swim all the way up to shore to snatch unsuspecting sea lions. These guys are pretty clever, don't you think? Number 12. Tiger Shark Attack the tiger shark is easily one of the most vicious predators within the species. They are common in tropical and subtropical waters around the world, with some of the largest growing upwards of 25 feet in length and weighing well over 1,900 pounds. These sharks have earned a hefty reputation of being man-eaters, only losing out to the notorious Great White in attacks on humans. However, they can be arguably more dangerous due to their nearly undiscerning palate, meaning they are less likely to swim away after biting a human. The Great White, on the other hand, normally takes a bite and swims away in disgust. The tiger shark's eating habits are rather unique, as their prey, on occasion, aren't even alive upon consumption. In fact, some aren't even a living being. These guys are not fussy at all, and they have very few issues finding what they feel like, with sharp vision, hearing, and sense of smell. Their jaws are also very powerful and stocked full of very sharp and serrated teeth, which allows them to crack clams open with ease and even sea turtle shells. The tiger shark's stomach contents in the past have included stingrays, sea snakes, seals, birds, and squids. If that wasn't already a long list of prey, license plates and even tires have been found within the stomachs of these fearless predators. So it seems when it comes to this shark's diet, almost anything will do. Isn't that handy? Number 11. Silver Arowana Flying Fish the silver arowana is a unique species of fish that is usually located in freshwater regions indigenous to South America. It has adopted nicknames such as the monkey fish and the dragon fish, as it is of reasonable size and has an impressive ability in terms of hunting prey. They aren't often kept or possessed by individuals as they are rather difficult to contain. That's why only the most experienced of aquatic enthusiasts have these in their tropical fish collection. They are are strictly carnivorous when hunting as they seek prey above the water rather than below it. Their most common approach is to swim in shallower waters in order to leap and snatch at insects. They're not fussy about what insects they choose either, as spiders and beetles are very healthy for their diet. It's also not unheard of for these fish to leap from the depths and snatch a bird and, on the odd occasion, even small snakes. Other less unusual snacks include crabs, snails, and animal droppings, usually belonging to monkeys. Doesn't sound too appealing now, does it? Number 10, Mud Skipper. The mud skipper is a unique creature that's name literally reflects its behavior outside of the water. It leaves the water and skips through the mud as a means of travel. That would be something worth seeing, that's for sure. When they're not hunting for food, they can often be found seeking mates and marking their territory, which often ends in a standoff and an eventual fight amongst themselves. Mudskippers are veterans of switching between water and land as they do it with ease. Due to their ability to breathe through their gills underwater and then through their skin and mouth when on land. These critters aren't invincible, however, and have taken to land a lot more as that's where most of their food is found. They mainly eat insects, worms, and won't even shy away from consuming small mudskippers if desperate. Imagine having to eat your own species. I couldn't think of anything worse. Number 9. Archer Fish As we've seen thus far, the underwater terrain is an unforgiving and brutal environment for predators and prey alike as they will go to great lengths for survival. Underwater creatures are intelligent beings that have miraculously made land unsafe for the likes of birds and insects. The archer fish is another in this long list of predators. These are found mostly in fresh and brackish saltwater where they tend to stick close to the surface. They hunt in the most unexpected of ways, typically aiming to eradicate insects hanging on branches above the water. The reason their appearance is so unexpected, however, isn't due to the speed in which they attack, more so their method of attack. The archer fish doesn't leap from the water to snatch an insect, its strategy is much calmer 
and cleverer than that. The fish will emerge ever so slightly from the surface and begin shooting their prey with a stream of water from its mouth. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? The pace in which this happens knocks the unfortunate insect into the water, where the archer fish comes through to snatch it up. Hunting can be a game of precision, and the archer fish does it exceedingly well for a water dweller. Number 8. Snakehead The snakehead fish is another that is very capable of hunting on land. These were initially only native to Asia, but mysteriously down the line were discovered as an invasive species found within American rivers. These fish used to be imported from Asia to the States as a means of food and even as pets at one point. In fact, it's suspected that someone who was in possession of them released them into the river and the breed multiplied from there. The Potomac River on its own has well over 21,000 snakeheads living beneath the surface. What a thought. These fish certainly aren't popular for their looks. They are incredibly vicious when on the prowl and have been known to mostly dine on smaller fish and frogs. However, in Australia, these fish have been spotted feeding on water birds, rodents, and bizarrely, even snakes. The snakehead fish can breathe on land for up to four days and will leave the water's edge wriggling its way through land to get to its intended prey. When it finally catches up with the unsuspected expecting creature, the snakehead fish will proceed to swallow its prey whole. Sounds delightful, doesn't it? Number 7. Octopus Perhaps one of the sea's most popular and most unique creatures, the octopus has many talents within the deep, dark depths. We've all seen what sharks are capable of and the monsters that Hollywood films have inspired from them, and it's fair to say octopuses are on the exact same level. Monsters like the Kraken and even villains like Spider-Man's Doc Ock were all inspired from the unique and creepy shape and tentacles of the octopus. This sea dweller is arguably the most mysterious mysterious that lurks under its depths. They are also quite possibly the oldest living creature down there, with the earliest fossils dating back nearly 296 million years. From having three hearts to being able to cloak themselves with their ink, the octopus really does have all the superpowers. These include a unique hunting strategy which has seen octopuses walk on land without having any hard skeleton. If you've ever seen the video game Octodad, then you have a pretty clear picture of what it looks like. Many octopuses make their way on land in order to consume the likes of crabs, clams, and snails. While underwater, they are known to consume fish and, on occasion, their own fellow octopus. They prefer to hunt at night as they can be a little stealthier, approaching their prey and wrapping them up in their web tentacles. Can you imagine? I mean, this is what nightmares are made of. Number 6. Sea Anemone Giant green sea anemones are often found under the waves on rocky coasts in cold regions like Alaska to warmer temperature sites like Panama. Sea anemones are completely immobile and tend to stick to small food items. They aren't the biggest either, with their maximum diameter only reaching 10 inches. Prey cannot be easy for these sea critters, but they still find a way, often getting to feast on smaller fish, mussels, crabs, and also sea urchins, shimmering a quite brilliant and unlikely green. They may not look like much, but these anemones have packed their fair share of surprises in the past. Lisa Guy, a researcher from Washington's Joint Institute for the Study of the Atmosphere and Ocean, stumbled upon one eating a cormorant nestling at Cannon Beach in Oregon. These seabirds are much bigger than the anemones, so Lisa and her colleagues must have gotten quite the surprise. I would certainly be interested to know how the anemone won the battle, wouldn't you? Number 5. Dolphins Dolphins are quite easily the smartest of creatures within the fascinating underwater world. When it comes to their diet, the marine mammal tends to go for quite a wide variety of different fish. They also don't shy away from consuming oceanic animals, and in rare cases, even marine mammals if necessary. Most species of dolphin are known to hunt for cod, herring, and mackerel, although in the Amazon, dolphins may go after local fish and even piranhas. That's one brave dolphin. They are also known to be more than capable of preying on squid, octopuses, sea turtles, plankton, 
krill, cephalopods, and many other forms of underwater crustacean. In rare cases when they are desperate for food, dolphins will indulge on birds that sit above the surface. These cases are only if the dolphin and other species of dolphin know it is absolutely necessary. Usually, the ocean is fruitful enough in its smaller fish supply, but if not, at least these guys know how to diversify. It pays not to be too fussy in the ever-changing world of the ocean, doesn't it? Number 4. Killifish the small, innocuous killifish are only a mere few inches long, but what these fish lack in size, they more than make up for in intelligence and hunting prowess. These fish are modern-day underwater rebels as they play by their own rules. The killifish is regarded as the world's most extreme fish. They don't age and develop like regular fish. They could live for as long as a year or for as short a time frame as just three months. They don't reproduce like other fish, and one species doesn't reproduce in the same way as any other vertebrate. They don't necessarily need their gills to breathe and prefer not to swim as much as your average fish, often at times relocating and chilling out in a small puddle or pool of water. These fish can go without water for over two months and have even been known to hunt for prey on land. The cycle of life is so quick for the killifish, they go through the charm of childhood to the perks of elderly retirement in just a matter of weeks, and it doesn't phase them. The killifish attacks like a missile, and if you blink, you'll miss it. They often go after crickets and other such insects by plucking them from leaves. One species, Rivulus harti, is known to capture prey by leaping 14 centimeters into the air. These guys might be little, but they've got all the skills when it comes to grabbing themselves a bite. It's a shame they don't live long enough to appreciate all their powers. Number 3. European Wells Catfish the European Wells catfish lives in the Tarn River in Albi, France. A medium-sized catfish measuring between 1 and 1.5 meters long, they have evolved to such a point that they are now capable of grabbing pigeons by the riverbank. Now, that can be no easy task given that one can only swim where the other can fly. Researchers are baffled as to why the catfish in this particular area does this, as it's not been documented among the same species elsewhere. One theory is that the fish, having eaten their easy prey, have become desperate for food, forcing them to look elsewhere to fill their bellies. But that doesn't explain why it's only the medium-sized catfish that prey on pigeons. Researchers believe it could be the fact that the larger catfish can't swim across the shallow water along the riverbank and therefore can't grab the pigeons. Another theory is that the larger fish simply can't be bothered and would prefer to hunt prey in the depths of the river instead. Whatever the reason, the smaller catfish have sought out another source of food. The good news is they're succeeding, so won't be starving to death anytime soon. Number 2. Giant Trevally the giant trevally fish is a unique and gigantic fish that grows upwards of 5.5 feet long and weighs more than 12 stone. I never knew that a kid like me could take one was captured for Blue Planet 2 as the BBC filmed it leaping from the surface of the Seychelles coast into the air where it plucked a bird right out of the sky. It ate the bird in one foul swoop before returning to water. This is a practice that the fish often carries out in order to prevent their rivals getting to the prey and potentially stealing what's left. This leap certainly wasn't a common characteristic for the giant Trevally, but I'm sure David Attenborough thought it was an absolute riot. Birds aren't usually on the mind of the fish as they tend to go after smaller fish, various crustaceans, cephalopods, and occasionally mollusks while there have also been cases of the fish going after lobsters and cephalopods as well. The talented Trevally certainly has a diverse set of skills when it comes to capturing its prey, which is no doubt quite helpful on occasion, wouldn't you think? Number 1. Rainbow Trout New Zealand is a country that has a wonderful tourist reputation, with its various picturesque mountain ranges, lakes, and overall magnificent scenery. It is also home to the majestic rainbow trout, among many other beautiful fish. Anglers have all the opportunity in the world around the yearly cycle to catch some large trout. The most experienced of these anglers will know that these fish are normally long instead of well-conditioned. In fact, every few years, there's a pattern 
pattern of unusually high conditioned fish being caught. Over several summers, record seas trout were being caught throughout the country, with many anglers very excited about the unusual phenomena. Researchers and anglers suggested that the significant size differences could have been due to the trout consuming an excessive number of mice one year in comparison to another. I don't know about you, but that's slightly off-putting. Trout normally tend to feast on shrimp, mealworms, bloodworms, insects, small animal parts, and eel. So the idea of them consuming a land being, particularly a rodent, is bizarre to say the least. When it comes to animals in the wild, nothing is sacred or off limits when they're hungry. And you can't blame them really, I mean it's literally a matter of life or death. For some of these animals, they've even resorted to eating their own. Now that's desperate. But what lengths would you go to to secure a meal, especially for your young? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.